Hello class 11. In this uh, video, I'm going to revise with you the third chapter that you have and that is Jimmy Valentine. Now, uh, in this uh, story, we see the main character is Jimmy and he's like a phoenix. Why? Because, uh, you know, phoenix is a bird which which rebirths from its own ashes. Here, Jimmy uh, is a character who is a criminal who used to loot things up. After seeing Annabelle, he left everything and he became Ralph D. Spencer, a man who owns a shoe business. It is a story, it's, it's a love story, which also shows the transformation of a man because of his love okay and there is one more character that is ben price who is a detective who you know tries to catch a jimmy but at last we see him that he had left jimmy because he could understand he could realize that a change uh, has occurred in jimmy now, uh, at the very first, we see uh, that a guard uh, comes to the prison sh shop where uh, Jimmy, you know, is, you know, stitching something. And um, the guard says, uh, um, it takes him to the front office where the warden meets him. And then the warden gives him advice that Jimmy, don't do all these things. And um, we will be releasing you, okay, in the next morning. So try to be a good, a good old chap rather than doing anything bad <clears throat> so uh when J jimmy was said all these things jimmy showed off who oh, me i never practice safe she he you know reacted in a very indifferent way as if he couldn't even think that he is the only one he tried to project himself as some other person now uh, after that as soon as he was left um, uh i mean uh, uh, sorry, uh, as soon as he left uh, the uh, prison, he, uh, you know, came to the place uh, in, in the Springfield, okay, um, where he met Mike and Mike said that, sorry, we couldn't meet up and he asks uh, for the key. Then he goes upstairs, unlocks his uh, door of the room at the rear and it, he sees that everything is there as it is, as he had kept. There on the floor, he could still find the collar button of Ben Price, which, you know, maybe he had tore up while fighting. And uh, uh, next we see that um, he uh, he takes out a dust-covered suitcase where he uh, puts in everything. All the burglar's tools that he had, or many, many of which he had made himself. And there are many other things uh, like the tampered steel, lettuce designs in reels. It's a complete set, okay. Punches, braces, bits, jimmies, clamps, augers, two or three novelties. Uh, these are, there are many things which Jimmy himself had invented and he takes all these things and he puts them. And then um, in half an hour, Jimmy uh, goes downstairs to the cafe uh, where he meets Mike Dolan and uh, when Mike Dolan says, oh, got anything on? Do you want to do anything more? Or are you going to going on uh, for your new uh, next venture of stealing? And he says, me? No, I don't understand. What are you saying? Uh, so I'm representing the New York al um, Amalgamated short, uh, short Snap Biscuit Cracker and Frazzled Wheat Company. So uh, this statement just delighted Mike uh, to such an extent that uh, Jimmy uh, had to take a sizzler and a milk on the spot as uh, he never touched hard drinks. Okay. Then after a week um, later, uh, there was a neat job of say burglary here and in the town. So everyone, uh, especially Ben Price, thought that it must be Jimmy who had done it. Uh, because all the patterns uh, that by, by which the thing had happened or, you know, the burglary had happened, it was exactly in the same pattern which Jimmy uh, would do, um, how he would steal. Now, uh, obviously, it was uh, upon Ben Price to catch Jimmy and he has to investigate different scenes. Um, so after this, we are cut short and we see that uh, um, you know ben price obviously knew all jimmy's habits and everything 
and then um, we see that Jimmy uh, with his suitcase he goes to Elmore he's found in Elmore and there um, in the you know uh, he sees a lady who crosses the street it's a young lady and um, he finds uh, that she went to the Elmore bank so she lowered her eyes and um, Jimmy you know she he was mesmerized by her beauty so he asked a boy who was loafing around there who was loafing around that who is this girl is this uh, Polly Simpson this is just a trick he doesn't know the girl he, he just said hey, she's Polly Simpson so the boy said no she is not Polly Simpson she's Annabel Adams okay her father uh, is the owner of the bank and um, uh, her pa owns the office okay and all this this boy told him is in return of some uh, you know money Jimmy went to the planter's hotel and then registered his name in the uh, name Ralph T. Spencer and in the, in the engaged room. Uh, he asked or he inquired over there that if um, a business is well suitable over there and what about the shoe, shoe business. So the man said, yeah, shoe businesses will work very well over here. The clerk was impressed, the clerk in the hotel, he was very much impressed by the clothes and the mannerism of Jimmy. He himself was something of a pattern of fashion to the thinly gilded youth Fillmore, but he now perceived his shortcomings. While trying to figure out Jimmy's manner to try his four in hand, he quarterly gave information. So he really liked the clerk, really liked Jimmy and kept on giving some information that he needed. Next, uh, uh, you see... Mm, As I've told you, Jimmy, uh, the, uh, sorry, Mr. Ralph D. Spencer is like a phoenix, I've told you, who rose out of Jimmy Valentine's ashes and completely changes himself. And uh, after that, uh, we see there is a gap and at the end of the year, the situation completely changes. J Jimmy has got a flourishing business, he's engaged to uh, Annabelle and they'll get married, uh, all this. So, and the family is also well acquainted with uh, Jimmy. So he writes to an old uh, pal of his and that he wants to give his suitcase of that or those tools to him because he doesn't need it anymore. He is uh, starting afresh in a new life with the most gorgeous and beautiful girl he had ever seen. So uh, he along with his um, new uh, family that is of Annabelle's family they go to the bank where a new vault had come. There are two, uh, uh, I mean, there are two little girls. One is uh, May uh, uh, and one is Agatha. So both are the daughters of Jimmy's sister. So uh, what happens out of this while playing, uh, they are very delighted to see the shining metal and everything. Suddenly, <coughs> excuse me, there is a uh, scream. And May. May who is a nine years old girl in a spirit of play she has shut agatha in the vault okay and uh, they do not know the combination and mr adams he also got very tense and annabelle she goes to her man that is jimmy uh, in order to ask for help and what did jimmy do jimmy um, could only see her eyes which needed help and then jimmy sorry uh, ralph spencer he went back to his previous um, you know look or his uh, previous self that is of jimmy and he tried to open the vault which would only be done by a man who knows how to do it okay so he did it and ben price who was standing over there to catch him was you know he could well understand he was actually waiting for the situation when he could uh, you know grip jimmy but when he saw that jimmy is a changed man he completely changed his mind and at last when jimmy himself came and said that okay so you will take me right so take me but Ben Price said, no, I don't know you. You are not Jimmy. You are Ralph Dispenser. And then he walks out, leaving Jimmy with his new family. So it's an excellent story. Along with this video, you will get one PDF. Try to uh, write the answers of your own in order to um, understand how much uh, prepared are you for your examination. Thank you and best of luck uh, for your upcoming examination.